Welcome to episode 4 of my rolling ball sculpture. Last week I fitted the motor behind the copper plate and the week before I did all the baseboard and electrics so now it's time to do the ball lift link arms. It's a uh, Chebyshev lambda mechanism and it uses three copper uh, link arms that I'm going to do. Each one is going to be brazed and soldered and a bit of both perhaps. The short one is 60 millimeters, the long arm will be 300, the one in the middle 150 and it's 120 from the two attachment points on the vertical bit. If you get all the ratios spot on, you get a nice um, D-shaped lifting mechanism happening on that side of the sculpture. If I get any of the link arm um, lengths a little bit long, then I think it will still work. It just won't be as super D-shaped and I'm, I'm hoping for it, uh, a, a real vertical movement at one point. I did a little bit of a drawing last night to work out how I was going to get the some of the rotating mechanisms worked and get it all clamped up and this morning I did a little bit of sketching just to work out where I'm going to put some of the joints and how all the arms are going to miss each other and also have I got enough material. I'll also be using lots of M3 nuts, bolts and washers to join all the links together and, and hopefully I'll get it so that there's it's, it moves uh, reliably but there's no um, slack movement going on at this end which will uh, not be very repeatable for lifting the balls or dropping the balls. So I want a nice reliable stiff mechanism that is free moving and uh, and yeah and will always work the way I want. So let's get started. This is 5mm tube and this is 4mm tube and the next job will be to solder the 4mm tube inside the 5mm tube and then solder the M3 rod inside the 4mm tube inside the 5mm tube. That way I've got an M5 tube going to an M3 thread and I don't want that to rotate in that or that to rotate in that. So the whole thing will be a fixed block. There we go, really happy with that. That is the shortest link done, the 60 millimeter one. 
and it's a solid block that now is attached permanently to the matter. Now it's time to build the longest link. This one is 300 millimeters long in total. It has an attachment point at one end and a pivot point directly in the middle. What I've made is a bit of a washer that will go on the outside of the 3mm tube and then going through the 3mm tube will be the M3 rod with one of these dome nuts on either end and on one end of this will be the long link and the other end here will be the short link and if I've got all my maths right and my measuring then I can do these two nuts up really tight and that will clamp on the centre axle and allow these long and short links to pivot. That's good, now I need to make the medium link arm 
that's the 150 millimeter arm that will go from here down to here. So this end is going to be slightly longer and raised at the point where the little bit of ink is and this one's going to be in the middle and I've done all the measuring and I'm just setting it up to clamp it all in place ready to do the brazing and you remember that old saying measure twice cut once well I measured the tube here to be just over 150 mil I ground off uh, one mil at this end and one mil at this end so that should be bang on 150 so I put the rule in and it's 155 because I forgot to take off the extra five mil because there's two and a half mil at this end and two and a half mil at this end, which is the radius of the OD of the tube. So I need to modify this. I need to lose five millimeters. Good job I checked, eh? Here we are, the medium length 150 millimeter link. So that goes there. This center axle will go in the middle. This little collar goes on the next. Okay, there we are, threaded rod, a bit of bush, dome nut, dome nut, and a little washer. All of that needs to go in here, and then the link arms are done. So if this is the first episode of mine you've ever watched, you've come here because of the linkage, then I need to explain what I'm going to do. I make rolling ball sculptures where marbles run down copper tracks, a little bit like this. And I'm going to build one here, which will take the balls from the top to the bottom. And the whole point of the link arm is to get the ball to the top. So a lot of the time and effort is spent designing how to do that. So from next episode onwards, I'm going to be starting to work on the end effector here and get some kind of mechanism that can hold a ball 
and then collectible and then eventually drop a ball and then right towards the end deliver the ball all the way back down to the bottom again so it's a bit Rube Goldberg or a bit rolling ball sculpture a bit marble run with a whole load of copper link arm mechanisms thrown in so you're very welcome here hit the notification bell press the subscribe button feel free to email me or use the comments section below if you've got any questions i'm really happy to interact with everybody and hopefully see you on the next episode thank you so much for watching it's gone really well i'm so 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 delighted with what i've done so far see you next time bye